talk about the shuffle, all right? The mighty shuffle. Um, so that was a video I posted on Instagram a month or so ago, and I got a lot of questions about it, a lot of comments. So I figured I'd uh, expand on it for one of these quick and dirty videos. Um, so that's just a shuffle in A. And the main thing that I'm doing there is practicing strengthening my internal clock and linking it to my hands. Now I'm going to do a video about that much more in depth because the internal clock is something you can work on. Um, and it's really crucial to like locking together that pulse that you have inside you at all times to your hands, marrying them together so that you can pull these things off without thinking about it. And it's very natural. So the thing I'm trying to do most is keep that pulse going, right? I'm trying to go establish a groove and never let it wander. So you should be able to hear it even with no notes. I've established that. That should have your, your head going, your foot tapping, right? So when I drop in, it's seamless. Right. So the other thing I'm doing is setting up very economical motion. I'm using a simple grip that I can easily change to cover all the chords I need in this area. So I'm using this A6 shape, which is incredibly useful. It's like A triad, but add that F sharp in there, right, with your pinky. So you've got that for the one. You lift your middle finger, you got a D7. You go up a whole step, you got an E7. Heck, if you play a D7 and then put your middle finger on the E flat, you know, you've got E flat diminished. So such easy, you can go. You've got it all right here in a quick, you know, that way you're able to get quick bursts of stuff to happen. So that's what it's about, establishing that groove. So no matter where you wander, you can bring it back and have that as, you know, as a, the foundation to what's happening in the shuffle because you're part of an ensemble. You're part of the rhythm section. You're backing up a singer. You're backing up another soloist. So it's you, excuse me, it's your job to, you know, never let that waver. So then I'm, I start embellishing. I play little licks. Little things like that, right? I might play... But it's all about keeping that groove going. You see, I never waver from... It's always there. My head's always bobbing. My foot's always tapping. That's what's crucial about playing rhythm guitar, is keeping that feeling always perpetual. Um, so you can take that same shape and play it up here. And have that same limited range motion. So I'm playing A6 to D7. Actually, D9. Up to five. Really economical, right? So another thing I did in that video was move that six shape like this. And I'm playing a blues lick in chords. And then I do it over the four. Something I got from Robin Ford. But the main thing is to keep that pulse going. It doesn't matter if you're playing a box, like. Right? You can embellish. You don't ever want to lose that feel. So find yourself a shuffle, lock in, play for 20 minutes, break in and out, play little fills, go. You know, that's what's going to help build that clock. Now I'm going to do a, uh, a less 
dirty video, a polished video on really strengthening that internal clock and like I said, marrying it to your hands because that's a really important topic. But just wanted to talk about the shuffle for a few minutes. All right. Thanks, everybody.